Hello Pisces, welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany, here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Before I get started, I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, let's get into it, Pisces. This is your reading for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. I hope all is well with you. Drop in the comments below what financial successes or wins, no matter how big or small, what did you gain? What what happened for you financially last week? That was a part of your reading. That was a huge part of your reading last week. If you did not catch your reading last week, Pisces, I will link it in the cards and in the description below. Do share in the comments. I would love to know. All right, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know for this week of March 3rd through March 9th? Do tell. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Powerful Pisces. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know? Do tell. I got two there. And then this one popped back out. So we're going to go with it. All right. Oh, mercy. Pisces, let me tell you something. It has been some really good energy, but really um, heavy energy, heavy good energy. Does that make sense with these readings? And I'm expecting nothing less for you. Heavy, good energy reading for Pisces. All right, our first card, Wasp Spirit. Sometimes life stings. Pisces, sometimes life stings with the Wasp Spirit. So something, something could be ending. The sting of life could be moving you forward to the end of something and when there's an ending, there's a beginning. So fret not. All right, Pisces. Let's see. Let's get some tarot to give us a better understanding. Divine Spirit, what does Pisces need to know? Do tell. Sometimes life stings. Yes, I'm feeling that like there's an ending coming, but like I said, endings mean new beginnings. Fret not, Pisces. All right, Divine Spirit, do tell. Seven of Pentacles and Six of Wands. Wow. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to go ahead and lay these out. We will turn them over when we get to them. All right. Seven of Pentacles and Six of Wands, along with the Wasp Spirit. Sometimes life stinks. Seven of Pentacles and Six of Wands. Can we focus? Focus on me. Focus. I don't know that I'm going to get it to focus. Probably because... These are such shiny cards, glossy cards. So let's start with the seven of pentacles for sometimes life stings. Pisces, what I'm getting from this is that sting could be you trying to determine, has it been worth it? Like you're looking at what you've been working on and what you've done and what you have accomplished and what may not have come to fruition for you 
at this point so far with all the hard work that you've been putting in. So you're you're wondering, is it worth it to keep going, right? You're just analyzing the whole situation and I feel like you're just you're definitely doing this analyzing on your own on your own. You're not actually talking to anyone else about it, getting, you know, bouncing ideas off of anyone else. Pisces, this is something that you feel that you need to do on your own, using your own inner wisdom to determine is it worth it to continue moving forward and that might be the sting that you're feeling because things haven't gone exactly as planned as you have planned so it's feeling a little less than desirable for you right now and then also with sometimes life stings you have the six of wands now that is very interesting for the six of wands to come up for you regarding sometimes life stings and then you know side by side with the seven of pentacles where you're over here contemplating like was this worth it the six of wands normally points to a victory a success um public recognition and so you're asking is it worth it? And Spirit is saying, absolutely, it is worth it. Keep going. The sting of life happens to all of us. And this too shall pass. If you continue to move forward with what you've been working on, what you've been working so diligently at, you will get the um, accolades. You will get the victory. You will have success. You will get public recognition with this. Although it stings right now. All right, let's clarify the seven of pentacles and the six of wands. Divine spirit, clarify seven of pentacles and six of wands for Pisces. Do tell. Okay, let's see what we got. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands for Pisces, Divine Spirit. Do tell. Okay. Alright, we're going to go ahead and lay these out as well for clarifiers. The... Shadow card for you, Pisces, is the Eight of Swords. Shadow cards point to hopes or fears. We will get into this shortly. All right, Spirit, what do we have? Okay, 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 okay. So, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. And, and in line again with the Six of Wands. For you... Pisces, it's absolutely worth it. Spirit is saying it's absolutely worth it. Um, again, you were contemplating, analyzing all the hard work that I've been doing. So far, I'm not where I thought I would be at this point in the process. Do I keep going? And Spirit is saying yes. With the Nine of Pentacles, absolutely yes. You are coming to a place of opulence, a place of luxury, and whatever that looks like for you, Pisces. Okay, you're laboring. You're laboring over this thing. You're, you're Again, you're wondering, is it worth it? Yes, the Nine of Pentacles shows the fruits of your labor, shows success for all the hard work and determination you've put in. So you ask, do I continue? And spirit says, yes, keep going. The fruits of your labor, your determination and hard work will pay off. You will be successful. You will be rewarded for your hard work, Pisces. You will be rewarded. So the seven of wands is... <laughs> is clarifying the six of wands very interesting because with the six of wands you get public recognition you get um 
reward you get um you are successful you are victorious and then you have the seven of wands clarifying that this what i'm getting this seven of wands clarifying the six of wands is because you persevered because you stood up for yourself because you did not let your thoughts overtake what your heart knows to be true pisces you're defending all of your hard work you're defending what your heart knows is true and your mind is saying is it really worth it and we know the mind can play tricks on us so for a seven of wands to clarify a six of wands it's truly a blessing to see this because it shows perseverance and it's be, it's the perseverance pays off to bring you to success and victory okay pisces next we have beaver spirit lay a solid foundation okay lay a solid foundation a solid foundation definitely i want to say this to you pisces a solid foundation definitely consists of at least these two things love and harmony love and harmony should absolutely be a part of your solid foundation right when you are operating from a place of love you you do things from the heart true love and you are at your best and in harmony with self and others that's a solid foundation what you build on that will only stand strong and stand tall so lay a solid foundation is what spirit is saying to you let's see what spirit has to tell us in <laughs> in part of laying a solid foundation you have the hierophant and the tower oh this this is super interesting super interesting pisces you have morals you have morals that you've been raised with and these morals have served you well right these morals have allowed you to do well so a part now what i'm also getting as a part of that solid foundation to go along with the love and harmony your morals are a part of that solid foundation right and then we have the tower card which points out to me what i'm picking up if you do not this is caution this is cautionary if you do not build your solid foundation with love harmony and morals you will have a tower moment things will come crashing down because your foundation is not stable and it's not strong spirit is saying build a strong foundation with love harmony and morals you know the right thing to do we all know the right thing to do but the right thing to do for all of us does not always look the same right pisces am i talking to you all right so clarifying the hierophant with the nine of swords clarifying the tower with the page of cups all right let's get into it this this caution this caution came to me for a reason because here here with the nine of swords you're having mm, you're you're questioning your morals I feel like this is pointing to you. You're questioning your morals. Your mind is playing tricks on you. I want you to know that Pisces, your mind is playing tricks on you. You know the right thing to do. You know the right way to go. You know what serves you well, what serves others well, right? But you're questioning your morals and, and that has to stop. Stop questioning your morals so that you are able to think freely, so that you are able to rest easy, whether it's during your waking hours or when you go to bed. Be mindful when you go to bed. What are you thinking about? Think about all of those things that are good and true because nine of swords at your rest time is either going to be 
disastrous or it's going to be a powerful shift. Be it's either way. The nine of swords is dangerous and powerful because what are you saying to yourself when you lay your head down to rest? What you're telling yourself at the time of rest is what you will bring into the world. We are just because our eyes are closed and we are unconscious to the world when we are sleeping, we are doing some powerful things in our sleeping stages. So be mindful of when you lay your head down, speak those things that are good and true. Those things that are loving and harmonious and moral. Okay. This, this is, yeah, this is caution. This is caution. Again, be mindful. This is caution. I'm going to go ahead and move on from that. <laughs> so with the tower, we have the page of cups, right? Interesting. The page is looking at what they hold in their cup. What you hold in your cup, what you hold in your heart, Pisces, right? You're, you're looking at that. Keep your eyes on that. There's a sensitivity about you, Pisces. Very sensitive person. And being that I'm getting the sensitivity about you, therefore you must, you must be mindful. Don't let your sensitivity bring you to a place of danger in your sleeping hours. Let that sensitivity be sensitive with compassion, sensitive with love, sensitive with um, patience. Those sensitive characteristics can serve you well in your sleeping. You can do you can do powerful things in your sleep and I want you to understand and believe that. Be mindful of how your your heart and mind is when you lay yourself down to sleep. This reading is going. Um, it, this is just it's so much here that you have to know. You must know. I must tell you. All right, our last set of cards, Porcupine Spirit, time for beginner mind. I just had beginner mind for um, Aquarius. A lot of mindset shifting. That energy has been big this week for a lot of the signs. So it seems no different for you, Pisces. Porcupine Spirit, time for beginner mind, okay? Beginner mind helps you to learn how to express yourself in a more positive way. A beginner mind opens up your creativity. A beginner mind helps you shift the way you communicate with yourself and with others, Pisces. All right. With beginner mind, we have the Princess of Cups, which is the Page of Cups again. And then we have the Queen of Swords. All right, so page, Princess of Cups in this Illuminati deck is the Page of Cups. You have the Page of Cups twice. Page of Cups twice, Pisces. Okay? This means you need to take heed. You have to listen up. It's important. Spirit is trying to share something important with you. There is a joyful surprise is what I'm getting with this double page of cups side by side. There's a joyful surprise. You are dreaming and, and remember what I've just shared with you in your dreams. Think on all things good and true and that are of a higher vibration because you will have a happy surprise having these double page of cups side by side. A happy surprise for a dreamer that dreams a dream. That will brighten their life and the lives the lives of others. Okay? This beginner mind. Change the way you dream. Change the way you're thinking when you go to bed at night. A happy surprise is in store for you, Pisces. Here we have the Queen of Swords. Queens and Kings in your reading are really powerful. They point to leadership, right? They point to being strategic thinkers. Right. Seeing the Queen of Swords is representing getting the big picture. Queen Queen of Swords is representing for you, Pisces, clarity, clarity 
clarity over what you were asking. Is this is this worth it? And the Queen of Swords is clear and absolutely sure that it is absolutely worth it, Pisces. Okay? Absolutely worth it. Renew your mind. Beginner. Beginner mind. The Queen of Swords is asking you to renew your mind. Have clear thoughts. Have shift your mindset so that you're you're clear in what it is you're doing with your life. So that you have clarity for the things that are coming towards you and you don't miss them because your mind is in chaos, right? Clarifying the Princess of Cups with King of Cups. All right, now come on. Thank you, Spirit. And the moon. Okay. I want to start here. This it, I have to start here. Having a clear mind. Having clarity and focus and being uh, strategic. The moon is your warning. That's what I feel like. The moon clarifying the Queen of Swords is your warning, Pisces. Do not be... Uh, do not be fooled by the illusions. Do not be fooled by the illusions that your mind tries to present with present to you. That is the warning I'm getting for you. And I want to make sure it's clear. I want you to be cautious. There are things that are not what they seem, Pisces. So be discerning in what you consume in various forms of media, right? And even in your interactions with people on the job, in the store, in your family. Do not be fooled. Do not be dismayed. Do not fall for the delusions and illusions of others. That's what I feel like the moon is clarifying for the Queen of Swords. It is a cautionary card in my divine and humble feeling for you, Pisces, okay? And then we're going to move on to the King of Cups clarifying the page of cups so again kings and queens they are a beautiful sign for you and as far as the king of cups clarifying the page of cups what i'm getting so this happy surprise this dream state that the Page of Cups is asking you to be mindful of at your bedtime and your sleeping hours. The King of Cups control, balance. Be mindful to not let your thoughts overtake you. Do not let your thoughts overtake you. The King of Cups is saying, balance your emotion, balance your thoughts, because they both serve you well when they are used properly together, right? That is the reminder that we're getting with the King of Cups. Let me check your shadow card lastly. Here we go. It is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is your shadow card pointing to hopes or fears, Pisces. This is self-imposed imprisonment. This is turning a blind eye to the things that you know are good and true to the things that are right and not standing up for yourself or standing up for others when you see things that are against your morals. Right, Pisces? I want to warn you, don't present yourself as a victim. Don't present yourself as a victim. Don't think of yourself as a victim. You have every right and authority to take up for yourself and loose yourself. Only you can get yourself out of situations that have you feeling trapped or having have you feeling imprisoned. This is self-imposed restriction. And you're the only one that can get yourself out of it, Pisces. Right. So. No, no victimization. That's that's what I I'm feeling. You cannot be the victim any longer. If that's the move that you've been operating in, in, in a in a victim 
mindset, it's time to stop because there are too, there's too much goodness here for you. So release the victimization, the self-imposed restriction, the self-imposed imprisonment. You're believing this about yourself. You're believing this about yourself. You're believing this about yourself and it's not true. Change your mindset. Build a stronger foundation on love, harmony, and, and morals, right? You, you win. You win. But it's up to you to make the winning happen. Rely on your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors to help you get through this. Pisces, This there's nothing that is not available to you. All right? I hope this reading has resonated with you, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.